Um, so I started talking about these videos. Uh, I don't really prepare well in advance for many things. Um, kind of living in the moment does that for you. Uh, where I am is this uh, brilliant little hotel in Weinsberg, I believe I am, in Germany. And I wanted to get close to Stuttgart because I've got a couple hours and I've got to get to customs in Switzerland. And when I got near Stuttgart, boy, there was a, a traffic jam that was not to beat all traffic jams, but it was good. And the fun thing with a motorcycle is you can cruise kind of slowly through the uh, traffic jam. And, you know, just if you take your time and go uh, down the middle of the lane or, you know, just take your time and uh, people are taking more time than you are. But I got to where these three lanes or four lanes of Autobahn were diverted off the freeway onto uh, an exit. And so, that, you know, there's cars and cars and cars. When I got to the bottom of the exit, it was about 7 o'clock at night. It was about where I wanted to stop. Uh, there were policemen directing people in a direction. So I stopped and asked one if he spoke English, because my German is, is not non-existent, it's just bad. And uh, I said, you know, is there a hotel around here? And he said, well, there's a little village down here. And uh, yeah, there's some hotels there. So I got out of the village, asked a lady on the street. Uh, she said, yeah, go up and go left. And I went up and left and uh, rang the bell. And I said, do you have rooms? And she said, yeah. I said, do you have meals? And she said, no. And uh, so I said, well, you know, I got a room. I said, how much is a room? And she said, uh, 40 euros with breakfast. And uh, this room is huge. I've got my own uh, dining living area. Not that I'm going to need it. Uh, there were three beds in there. Uh, a big bathroom. It's a wonderful deal for uh, 40 euros. Um, it's a wonderful deal, a little bit more than that, too. But in this quaint little village, uh, she said, you know, just walk up this area, go to the blue sign, and go up through, and there's a beer garden up there, uh, and you can have dinner up there. And so I went up, <clears throat> ordered uh, dinner, a uh, big bottle of mineral water, or a big glass of mineral water, and uh, a glass of wine. Uh, and she told me, she said, you know, there's a beer garden up there, and it's a restaurant, and uh, I guess one of the general rules in life, and I know this general rule, I just didn't follow the general rule yet again because I'm not good at following rules, I guess, is uh, when in a beer garden, order beer. You know, uh, ordering wine in a beer garden, you can eh, pretty surely be uh, s surprised, which I was, oddly enough, even though I know the rule, uh, by the quality of wine. But it, the good news is it was a red wine. It was a grape wine. Uh, we came through Germany a few years ago when the kids were little, and it was uh, like Apple Fest or something, and they make wine out of apples. And uh, if you want to taste something that's really kind of difficult to deal with, uh, that's, that's one of them. But uh, just the amount of synchronicity, uh, a traffic jam stopping about, and I thought I'm not going to make much pro progress, uh, asking a policeman and ending up in this really quaint little place. I'm going for breakfast, uh, then I'll get back on the road, I'll keep you in tabs, I know you're breathless about where I am and what I'm doing, have fun.